pa 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 Every fu- Oh, stopped. Good eye! <clears throat> oh man, it's early. Welcome to today's vlog. Chang Mai to Bangkok on the sleeper train. But before I even get to the station, I've got a pretty busy day ahead of me, so this could be a little bit of a long vlog. Don't know. I'll always be good. Entertainer. So I've just started off the day. I have seen this wall close to where I have been staying. So I've had to. I've had to get my pens out. All right. Way. Way forward, isn't it? Cool. That's me. Start of the day. Right. I'm off for coffee where I'm going to have to make two happy endings for vlogs. Yesterday's, I didn't get back till about 8 o'clock last night, so I didn't have a chance to do my happy ending. And the singer, the singer park I did in Chiang Rai, I, did, I didn't get to make my happy ending there. So I'm off to the coffee shop to make two happy endings, which you would have already have seen. Okay, that's me. I just took the horse back. And I recommend a horse, I really do. I recommend Cat Motors. Sweaty Cat, they're good people. And look at the different bikes they have for rent. You can get just about anything from these guys. Couple in for repairs. <laughs> yeah, can. So if you need a bike and need a scooter, I would recommend Cat Motors. They would. They charge me 4,000 baht for the air rocks and I now brought it back it should have had a full tank of petrol but I bought it back on two bars and I had it for an extra day and they charged me 250 baht for the extra day and uh, 100 baht for petrol so they only charged me 150 baht for the extra day which I thought was awesome that was really good that is why I liked cat motors they're good they were cheap and very trustworthy okay I now have to head back <laughs> to the hotel. Hopefully I'll get there before midday, before I have to check out. I started walking the wrong way, but there's some tail come along, so I've pulled him over. I've handed him my phone, which he's following, and it's going to charge me 50 baht to get me back to the hotel. That's really good. I think that's pretty cheap. Right here, so I'm now off to the hotel, and we will get there in time for me to make some provisions for my railway journey later this afternoon oh happy Woo! wait till you get a load of what i've just seen head northeast look at that then turn right wow that is something you will not see <laughs> awesome i know that is awesome, and look, Lambretta. Turn right, Whoa! Turn right. Same me, mate, I have. That's exactly the same as my scooter, except mine's burgundy, where that one's blue. Look at this. That's superb, man. Because today, at five o'clock, is the Volkswagen Vespa Lambretta Vintage Show. Unfortunately, I catch the train at half past three, so I would not be able to go, but I'm really glad I just saw all these guys on the side of the road. For my bikers there, but seeing them two Lambrettas and them Vespas, they are awesome. They really are. That's a little bit special. <laughs> I bet that go like stink. I bet that fly, man. Awesome. That's really cool. And that, man, worth an absolute fortune. That's totally original, the original paint, and that's totally restored. It's awesome, and look at this, man. Beautiful. <laughs> what a thing to see, and I'm really sad I haven't got my camera with me. Mate, that is a proper, proper 150 Super, I think. That is a super, 150 super. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Kapum, kapum cab. Great thing to see. 
Oh, I love stuff like that. Oh, cool. Um, Mandela House was a pretty decent stay. Fantastic location. And as I'm now checking out, the lady did let me have an extra half an hour uh, in the room before I checked out and they are looking after my luggage while I go for a little walk and top my phone up but I just now come out and I was like wow Mandela house has a swimming pool it does right here look that's really cool I did not know until just now it's got a wicked little pool and you can that's what he kept sit in the sun that's the boss from the hotel <laughs> sitting by the pool just sitting in the sun that's pretty good and I think the best rate that you will get from Mandela house if you arrive and book directly with them and you may get it for just over 500 baht a night which is pretty good and having an added swimming pool there <clears throat> I only just now found out I could have sat there yesterday for a bit or I mean it's only now half past 12 three hours till my train leaves two hours before I leave here to go there so I may go and sit and have a Leo by the pool get a last bit of sun for today oh, man, I had a week of day today um, uh, someone come up and he said oh hello so I, don't, I, I just naturally assumed it was a subscriber and then I'm looking at and I know you, I'm looking. My eyes ain't what they used to be and the lads got really big. Uh, Spencer, Spencer Hunt, my old mate from the, from the Norwich Lads Club, Boxing Club. It was just like, oh, fancy seeing you here. And I'm like, oh man, that was really crazy. And a couple of people I'm um, sitting there with just thought it was really funny. Because um, we're, we're kind of used to people recognise me from the channel, but not from back home from Norwich. So that's really cool. So Spencer, I hope you're having a good time mate, that was really cool seeing you this morning um, Yes, oh really good Right, so I need to get, I think, today to a Tesco a Metro Because I've got an AIS top up card and 7-Eleven don't sell there So I have to, I'm going to walk up this street to see what I can find oh, Are we working? Are we? I'm not a loss with this camera as you well know but <laughs> there's no restaurant services on the train you know my voice is gone look because I'm on the big Leo I started having a big Leo I felt okay body cap hello ladies now looking at me because I'm talking to my black bucks on the end of my stick now I'm actually at the vegan restaurant well, I am. I'm having, because I need some food, right? Now, I've been up and down this street, and I've got to be honest, the best place by far is the vegan restaurant. Not because of what they sell upstairs. They do really good food, and they actually, the beer is the cheapest on the whole street. And I've actually ordered, the reason why I'm starting to film is because I am in a vegan restaurant. And I have ordered... pak a pow moo medium spicy right i cannot have kai dao i've just got steamed rice because it's a vegan restaurant <laughs> now i'm saying that a bit funny because i wanted kai i'm like ah oh, the egg is dairy in it so they can't have an egg and they haven't come up with a vegan version of an egg but they have pork look at that that's pork so that is pack of pal pork with Dow, I guess, steamed rice and a little love heart. And that's, so look at that, right? I've got the pork. That looks like, that pork looks. Oh man, that looks really good. What it tastes like, though. Pork. 
mal, du. It's not got a pork flavour, but it's got the texture and that crispy fat kind of flavour. No, oh, man, so I'm having a bit of rice. I am, and I'm having a big Leo. Before I go back, I might go and sit in the sun for an hour. I may not, it may, may be, time may be pushing away before I go and sit on a train. I need to get a bag of ice from 7-Eleven. I've got phone credit. So I'm all good. I just need, like I say, to have some food. And I'm quite surprised that the vegan restaurant is pretty good. And, uh, so, um, how do you know, <clears throat> how do you know someone is a vegan? They tell you. <laughs> More as soon as you meet them. And I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind a veganism myself. I don't mind. I know I've got a plate of good, wholesome, healthy food to get me on the way. So oh, cheers. Mm -hmm. I like this restaurant. The vegan restaurant on this street where I've more or less been staying. They're really good. And that, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm at the train station. 2.46, 45 minutes before the train leaves. And it is that train right there. Platform number four, which is awesome. I'm just going to have a little look round the station before I board. Oh man, and I will board the train ASAP. I just need a ways. <laughs> I'll see if I can pick up any provisions. I don't know. I have four Leos and four Bob Marley cigarettes <laughs> to get me through the next. 15 hours or so. Right, I'm going in. Oh man. <laughs> Toilet is three bars. Okay. <laughs> what are the labs like? Here. <laughs> so much gear, look. That's all me loaded up. That one's full of Leo and ice. Fucking camera and all this gear, drone, yeah. computer gear, and fucking. <clears throat> mm. Right, quick wad, and then I shall board the train. I am at the train. I think someone is making a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> of our unit that is going to pull us to Bangkok that unit there whoa and all what you can see in the back all those logs they're all sleepers that have been replaced with these stone concrete sleepers all covered in creosote over there there, just sitting there there's loads of them it's wicked there's a posh train there oh man, loads of driftwood oh man it's not a bad train station <laughs> awesome and we're leaving in about half an hour I've got all my luggage on I am on the top deck. I believe there is a seat below. <laughs> but I'll probably be sitting in the doorways. And I've got my camera with me ready. Because I'm hoping when I arrived in Chiang Mai, right, it was all dark in the middle of the bloody night. So I didn't actually get to see what's around. So now I'm leaving in the daytime. I, I should be able to see some quite decent views that I haven't seen before. So I'm just gonna take it. So this guy's still filming. Couple Kev. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> He's 
is obviously a fat train spotter. Now that there is where the staff sleep. That's the staff quarters right there. And here's where I... No, I'm not. Oh, this also is the staff. And that's the staff quarters right there. And I, I'm on coach one right here. As you can see, this sleeper unit I managed to get all well most of my gear on there the rest of it down there and that's it it's a nice little sleeper I'm right at the front of the train uh, which is really good so when we get off I literally haven't got to walk I'll be right at the station to walk straight out not that that's going to be an issue at 3 30 of the morning I mean, you've got nice little sinks for your cab. Oh, and toilets. Oh, a hole in the wall, in a hole in the floor. That's it. Bars on the window. Oh, man. That's it. It does say all these smoke, no smoking sites. Oh. Alcohol sales, drinking in this area is prohibited. Oh, that's disappointing. Like, Oh man, not that I'm going to take much notice. But I am sitting, or sleeping, right next to the staff thingy. So that's 2,000 baht fine for smoke in here. So I don't know. But there is a non-smoking sign in that foyer where the doors are. So I don't know. Right, I'm going to chill and wait until we de -barge. Okay, <laughs> well, we've, we've, we've just made our first stop, pulled away, which is all good, but I have brought you, I'm in second class, I, I don't think there's a first class, right, but there's no smoking and no drinking in second class, that's for sure, 10 minutes ago, I, I, I thought I'd come up here, I opened the door, guard told me off, shut the door, no no, sent me back to my seat, so I'm under the impression, I'm just waiting for the guards to walk down, <laughs> not to have a sneaky while they're down, because um, when, when I travelled on the train before, I was in third class, the windows were open, the doors were open, and quite frankly no one gave me shit, but we're on now in second class, there is, look, you've got these signs uh, everywhere, all through the train, uh, so I'm going to go, <laughs> wait for the guards to go, they check the tickets twice, but uh, I'm just right away, I just want to walk down to see if there is a third class, and to see if you can do what you like, because at current I'm not, I'm not going to be able to smoke or drink on the train. Fucking hell man, I'm going to be sober on the train. And uh, that's no good, right, that we've done. Let's have a, let's have a walk down. Uh, as we are walking through second class. Oh, and there is a lady selling sausage cocks and battered chicken drumsticks. <laughs> So we're still walking. Second class, there's a car, ah, office, toilets, coming this way, I'll go down the next section. Yeah. And we're still, I don't know if the train is a complete sleeper, I really don't know. don't look to be any first class and there definitely isn't a restaurant but there is sinks and that's what you can Kings are there and they're like they're everywhere follow on the ticket back excuse me it's another sleeper section and it's all Second class. Aha.
window open. There's no no smoke and so a little bit. <laughs> but okay, this guy because these seats. Aha, uh -huh, door. Don't look too bad. This is first. Are you in first class or third? Second class seat. Okay. Second class seats. Not too bad. A second class reclining seat. <laughs> A very narrow walkway. Right there. I am walking sideways. It's that narrow. And <laughs> it doesn't try and get shittier as you go back. Doors open. Awesome. coming in whoa looks like we're coming into a station on the right Whee. <laughs> yes as I've made it to the cheap seats I've been sat here for about half an hour blazing away enjoying the Tinaleo and admiring the view Oh man, here we are. <whistles> Wicked little station. Dogs, man, look at them, they're everywhere. Sweaty cap. Kuntan. <whistles> All right, not bad looking spot. You are, mate. Well, I think everybody's going to get on where I am. No. 
Well, I think this is the this is only the second stop we've made, I think, out of ten. <laughs> oh man, the dog's just laying there, look. Wicked. Right. I'm going to finish my Leo. And I think the train will be underway. Looking at me, look, it's just a wicked view, just sitting here. It's quite peaceful as well. People just milling about, look.